Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Hollow Knight. We are continuing on in the Fungal Wastes, branching off from the Queen Station, although we may find another way of getting to this zone uh, on this episode. Which you might notice this episode is a little bit shorter than uh, even I intended, even for what was going you know, to already be a short episode. Uh, and that's because some of the footage has just gone missing, and I'm not sure why. Uh, that presents kind of a problem. So I'm re-recording uh, the bit of the fungal waste I just got done doing. Uh, unfortunately, that has some a couple of side effects. Uh, nothing too major. It does shorten the episode because we miss out on a little bit of NPC dialogue that I will... Uh, post in the video regardless. And just because mm, there's a couple of things I will probably do a little bit quicker. Uh, and a few things that we won't get to see. I'll point them out as we get there. You may have, if you're eagle-eyed, noticed one of those things coming up. Uh, just over here on the left. So when we dash across here, uh, there is a switch that we have already hit, which is why that gate that we saw a moment or two ago was already down from the other side. Uh, and that just connects these two parts of the area. This is going to be another one of those things. Oh my god, I love these mushrooms! <laughs> um, these are the only two attacks they do. Ah, that was cutting it really close with the hitbox. Uh, when you first get to this area, you fight two of them. Uh, they're on either side of you, and when you get done with the fight, they actually drop a notch for your charms. Uh, and then every subsequent time you revisit the area, it's just going to be one of those, uh, I think they are called Shroomal Ogres or Shroomal Brutes. And, oh man. So this bench that we rest on is a corpse, and this friend is Leg Eater. Leg Eater loves Geo. That is the, I think the last thing that we're gonna miss out on from uh, the footage that has gone missing is just the opening introduction dialogue for Leg Eater, who is quite a charmer. Don't let the name fool you. Leg Eater is just a nice, charming little dude. Nothing nefarious about Leg Eater. He would never harm you. Aside from the leg parts. <laughs> uh, but I will post his dialogue. Now, as for the rest of this, we are ascending and you'll notice the atmosphere and the environment changes, the color palette, as we go further up. And look at this ground shaking. Just store that in the old memory banks for later on. Uh, so the other thing about Leg Eater is that, if you noticed, all of his items were called Fragile. Uh, he sold three Fragile Charms. Fragile Heart, Fragile Greed, and Fragile Strength. The gimmick to those items is that they are very powerful, but when you die, they break, and you have to go to him to repair them. Also, he loves Geo. He loves Geo a lot. Now, fortunately, before the footage was lost, I did not get to another way better NPC. So we will still get our introduction to her. Oh, she's so very good. Also, look at this background art! Mm. Uh, and this hot spring will fill your soul gauge up. Make of that what you will. And of course, we have now looped around the Forgotten Crossroads. So you can get down into the Fungal Wastes either from the Queen Station off of uh, the Fog Canyon, or you can come here from the Crossroads. And now we have everything connected, so we're going to go back to descending down into the Fungal Wastes. Going to make our way back down now. And hopefully get a little bit of Geo on the way. Uh, because... Fragile Strength, which is a damage upgrade, is 600, and it's the main one that I actually would like from Leg Eater, since I don't plan on doing a whole lot of dying. 
Sure, it's gonna happen eventually, but probably not until late game. Although, I've cut it close a few times. Uh, this game is harder to LP than I expected it would be. Especially with keeping, like, a mental map going. Even with the presence of the map, trying not to spend all of my time checking it repeatedly. Also, some of these late game areas and bosses are gonna get real savage. Especially while talking. That's neither here nor there, though. Ah, very good. I love how they deflate like balloons. We have some kind of door or something there. Maybe something for later. And more of these things. Look how much damage they do when you face tank the sh- Oh, God! I thought it was dead. Or, I guess it was, but it may have gotten a shroom off as it died. Oh, those spore bombs are the worst. Oh, they're the worst! We saw a few of those while we were making our ascent up to the crossroads. They're gonna get worse from here on out, though. Oh, we do have 600 exactly, so... Didn't take a second, plus there's a bench up there. It's not like he's too far away. Come on! Wow, really? It took me a second to reach that. <laughs> He's just right up here. And remember, this is all acid, including that waterfall we saw. So if we touch any of it, we take a bunch of damage. Alright. Let's rest up first. Oh, hey! You don't like to be hurt, do you? Or maybe you don't mind? Are you nice? If you're nice, you'll give me Geo. Maybe you aren't so nice. Don't try to trick me. I'm not stupid. They're beautiful, aren't they? These gifts I have. They're shiny and dangerous and lovely. I made them. Don't be jealous. Give me Geo and you can have one. Enough talking. You're jabbering. Annoying. Step over here and show me your Geo. I didn't know you could talk to him from the other side. Um, so let's grab that. And let's see if he has more dialogue after we purchase something from him. Are you curious? You're wondering how I make my special gifts. Don't try to steal my secrets. I'll steal them right back. If you're cool to me, you'll be sorry. Nothing nefarious about Leg Eater. Or this bench made out of a corpse of a bug next to him. Aw, oh, shit. We don't have enough notches. Even if we remove Steady Body, that won't be enough without overcharming. Uh, we could remove Long Nail, but I like... I prefer my range over the extra damage from uh, Fragile Strength. So we'll just put that on later once we have more notches. For now, onward through the Fungal Wastes. Oh my god, they're fucking Waluigi stands. <laughs> they were the original Waluigi stands. They liked Waluigi before he wasn't announced for Smash Ultimate. Just get right over that one, and over that. Uh, the reason that I said before that the Spore Bombers get so much worse is because of some environmental interactions coming up. We remember the Elder. No idea who that is, but this cavern is kind of foreboding. Maybe we will see something with that later. <laughs> There's so many good teases coming up. And also, say hello to Cloth! Cloth, Cloth, Cloth! Oh, tiny steps of a tiny creature. You got the look of an adventurer. So much we have in common. Searching for dangerous places, I? Well, you're on the right track. Long-necked critter warned me of a tribe deeper down. Warrior source, so she says, and I'm itching for some serious oh. combat. Keep sharp, my adventurous friend. Stay alive and let's meet again on the road ahead. Cloth is the best! Cloth, cloth, cloth! Oh, she's so good! I love cloth! We will see cloth again! <laughs> oh, that's not gonna quite be enough. I, I failed that enough times. Don't need that Geo that bad. So now we're going to play around with the pogo mushrooms a little bit more. 
and of course we have the acid and the spore bombs to contend with now. Just as soon as we chase Hornet again! Uh, but first, let's avail ourselves of all our options. We could drop down to the left, but no, let's continue chasing Hornet to the right. Oh, she immediately takes off to an area we cannot yet pursue her towards. Here ends the Pilgrim's Way. Helen S. Hart lays open before you. Proceed onward to share in its glory. Well, we can't proceed onward, so we will proceed leftward and make that drop that we saw earlier. Uh, so Cloth is the first backer NPC to be added to the game. They were originally named Burlap. <laughs> and now the spore bombs get fun. Uh, because directly beneath the spore is a bunch of mushrooms that bounce you back up into it. So we're just gonna dash over that shit. Uh, and now it continues to be dangerous because these things will try to hose you down with orange goo when you pass underneath them. And the mushrooms are there to bounce you into the dangerous goo. Or fog, or miasma, whatever you prefer to call it. But we're good for now. Oh, by the way, Cloth is supposed to be a, uh, a cicada. And one more switch to hit. Haven't hit this one yet. This lowers, and this puts you into the area uh, where we found Cornifer earlier. This is just to the right of Cornifer's area. So again, we have looped all the way around and connected all... Uh, most of the fungal wastes now. Now we can take pretty much any path we want through the zone. So coming up next, we are going to go into a subzone. Uh, it's that place that Cloth warned us about. Also, Cloth made mention of a uh, someone long-necked who warned her about a dangerous warrior tribe. Who do we know with a long neck? We met them last time. It's Willow. And look at this. We get the idea now. This warrior tribe is apparently full of other mantises. So Willow may be from this tribe, but she didn't seem terribly hostile or warrior-like. She just wanted to enjoy the peace and calm and snacks of Queen Station. So right away we get these two uh, types of mantises. Get the flying ones and these ones on the ground. These ones take about four hits each from the base nail with no upgrades. Or one in a vengeful spirit. Flying ones take three. Oh, ho, 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 this is a fun one. Even as basic as the combat is for the time being, just this presence of an air dash makes it feel so good when you execute everything correctly. Wanderers seeking death, welcome. May you find swift end upon, a, end upon our claws. Uh, and speaking of the combat, something that would be really useful against those ground-based mantises uh, would be something like a backstep, which Hollow Knight originally did have. It was cut from the game. And there are mountains of cut features from Hollow Knight and uh, enemy types, which we will discuss in due time. Uh, another one would be the ability to dive and swim. You can tread water. Uh, just not the acid right now. But full diving was going to be a thing. Kind of grateful it's not. Backstepping could be cool, though. Oop. Oop, down we keep going, because we get these signs pointing us towards the bottom of this area where there will eventually right here be a bench and i think that is where we will leave off before we hit the mantis village thank you all for watching take it easy have a good one